our, our men and women have such great storied histories in this tournament. Joining us is Ngarohi Magavi Black, and I hope I pronounced that right, my friend, and if I didn't, I, I apologise, but what a beautiful sounding name, Ngā, Ngārohi. G'day. Hey, uh, Rene, you bang on the money there, bro, with the name, and um, yeah, good to be on here, and um, yeah, cheers, cheers, bro. So you're in Hammy, I presume it's just 100k down the road, it must be stinking hot there too, bro. Yeah, yeah, weather's pulled up right for us uh, these past couple of days, um, we're coming off a bit of bit of bit of showers and tauranga this uh, last week, so um, it's good to get to some sun and and get to train in the sun um, and actually play in the sun. So yeah, looking forward to it. Two eighteen, you made your debut. Now, to be I'm being perfectly honest, I don't know too much too much about you. And also in terms of the seven side, it's been a little bit out of sight, out of mind. You know, we had the South African tournament, we had the Dubai tournament, which is so good to get you back yep. here. Such a shame that this is going to be the last one. But just in terms of how good are we as far as the men's seven side goes at the moment? Um, yeah, I think um, a lot has changed with um, obviously with COVID around and just the logistics around it and and how how we how people want this game to be played. So I think um, for us, um, I think we're in a good spot. And um, yeah, obviously got to that this is the last last tournament to be played in um, New Zealand. And I just hope um, in the future that it can come back. So hopefully this will be like a one one time thing or one opportunity thing for it to go away from here. And hopefully it comes back. But um, in saying that, just around our team, I think. Um, we've got a good mixture of old and young and we're trying to bleed in some of the young boys. So we've got Peyton Spencer, um, Carlos Spencer's um, yeah, young brilliant, son. Brilliant. And, um, yeah, he's, yeah, he's he's fit in pretty well. He's been in for the last three weeks, so he's been doing well. And then we've got another guy, um, Xavier uh, Tismal Harris. Um, yeah, and he's yeah, he's yeah, he's one to watch out for as well. And um, yeah, and then we've got guys like Sam Dixon, Joe Weber, who have been around for 10 plus years. So that's just the calibre of our team. Yeah, it's just a lot of old with the young as well. So, Look, because yeah. I, I was going to ask you that as my next question. I mean, just the what a sheer physicality of it. It is a young man's game. Is there still a place for a couple of old grunters? Like, I remember DJ Forbes was around for years and years and yeah. years. And you kind of want to see those characters and those guys with yeah. longevity in the game, yeah? Yeah, yeah, there is. Um, yeah, like like you said, we had we had guys like um, like the legend Eric Rush in that play till they were nearly forty. Tomasi Sama, one of the the greats of sevens, um, played till he was, you know, his mid thirties. And then we've got guys like Tim Mickelson, who's still in our team. He's like, they want to chuck him under the bus. Go on, here, son. He's, I think he's like thirty six. Oh, he's forty six, mate. He's eighty six. <laughs> And he's, and, he, and he's still trotting around with the boys, and he's still bloody smoking us around the park. So, oh. um, it just I think just with our training type, we just need to take it easy on those guys because um, injury is a bit easier as you start to get older. And um, but in yeah, and saying that there's always a place for those type of guys. Um, yeah, and it's I think just with our team, just with the culture that we've got, like we'll rather have them around the team just because just what they can bring and offer to the team. Um, yeah, just around the park. No, why why sevens? You know, was and the reason I ask this question is because it's now an Olympic gold medal as well as a Commonwealth Games medal. Was that was that an attraction to you to play that as opposed to the fifteens? Um, I I I grew up playing touch, so I was always kind of used to playing a sport where there was a lot of space. Like yeah. obviously playing fifteens um, as you come through school. Um, I just enjoyed the the space, how fast the games were. Um, just you know, just could use all your skills that you had. Um, footwork, it was easier to beat people. Um, it was just like enjoyable. Um, that's kind of what attracted me to sevens and just watching like people like Tomasi and Joe Weber and that do that type of thing. Um, kind of attracted me to to play sevens. Not really so much the Olympics or or con games at at that point, but um, now that's just a bonus for me. Awesome, dude. Um, we've got so little time today. I don't know whether you know the news or heard the news or not, but um, just as we came on the air, Jacinda has resigned as Prime Minister. So um, we've, got, we've got a million. Did you know that? I, 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 I swear to God, I just read that as as I got the call. Like It would have been like 28 past one, and I just read it, and I just said to my partner, oh, Jacinda's um, resigning as Prime Minister, and we're just having a little... little little laugh about it yeah well yeah it's happened so look I've, I've, got, I've got to cut us short I'd love to I'd love to keep talking to you and hopefully we can after the event or as the seventh circuit goes represent us proudly man I know that you will 
Nah, thank you so much. Thank you for the call and uh, thank you for letting me be on you.